Welcome all ye faithful to my Fallout 3 modded Let's Play. It's been a uh, very long time since my last episode, approximately um, three months. Sorry about that, everybody. But um, school, busyness, combined with laziness, uh, led to me putting off the Let's Play. But the good thing is, in the meantime, since the last episode, I put in quite a few mods. You'll notice a new ENB mod. Uh, it's got even a little black bar thing. It just looks, it looks kind of cool if you ask me. If you guys don't like it, let me know. I can try to change it the next time I do my recording sessions. Um, I'm using the Pip-Boy Radius now because I thought it looked kind of cool. Reminds me of, uh, I believe if I remember correctly, the older Pip-Boys from the older Fallouts weren't actually, well, you know, strapped to your arm. They were actually devices similar to this. So it's kind of cool. I like it. And um, beyond that, I've also done some fixing with my guns. So some of the weapons I had previously you won't be seeing anymore, so I had to get some replacements. Example, um, the AK or whatever weapon I had before wasn't working properly, so I had to go ahead and grab myself the Zhuanlong so that I had some sort of proper assault rifle. But this is a custom one, and it appears to have a silencer and a uh, zooming sight. You'll also notice I have a range fighter, range finder mod proud of you. that shows the uh, distance to the target that I'm aiming at. So this guy is 20 meters. The bomb over there is about uh, 58, 59 meters. You get the idea. It's pretty cool. Uh, Star Palette and Cross we still got just fine. Um, beyond that, I guess I'll just introduce mods as I come along. But yeah, I went ahead and got myself some combat armor. To be honest, I don't remember if I had that in the last episode or not. But I have combat armor now. I have a mod for power armor called Powered Power Armor, which basically gives it a lot more perks if you use it, but you do have to power the power armor with things like energy cells um, and uh, microfusion cells and mesmetron power cells. But for now, I'm just going to be sticking to combat armor, my masked combat helmet, and the weapons I have at the moment. We got a 223 explosive, 44 magnum, M9. Combat knife, combat shotgun, battle cap mines, frag grenades, hunting rifle, M79 grenade launcher with a very happy uh, vault boy, mesmetron, and Juan Long assault rifle. So on our last episode, we, uh, I don't even know what that is. Here we go. Gain entrance to the town of Little Lamplight, since we uh, went through and pretty much destroyed all that was left over from uh, Paradise Falls. Let's go ahead and head out to Little Lamplight. You notice that the uh, HUD right there, it has a Fallout 1, Fallout 2 theme to it. It also changes the uh, text menu when you're talking to people and the barter menu, among a couple other things like the loot menu. It just looks really nice and it gives it that old Fallout 1 vibe. And oh god, my frame rate spiked for a second there. Huh, that's weird. It just goes down whenever I'm right outside a little lamplight. Oh, whatever. Point is, I saved their buddy, so now they should hopefully let me in. McCready, that little shit. Wait, what the hell? Oh, that's right. What the hell? Um. Did I f did I break something? Ladies and gentlemen, I believe I broke something. I will be back in one moment. Is my uh is my Redis working yet? Okay, Redis is working again, ladies and gentlemen. We're good. Okay, that was, um, that was weird. Anyway, what are we doing now? Quests. Enter Vault 87. I can do that. You gotta go this way. Watch it. I will shit on your face, you little shitbag. And apparently I just hey. said that. I'm trying to remember how to turn the light on for this thing. Oh, it's B. Okay, sweet. Sweet. Okay, so the B button will... I must have binded it to the B button. So now I know how to use my light. I'm reacquainting myself with the game at the same time that I'm doing a recording, <laughs> which hopefully provides more entertainment for you guys. Hey, look, VLC player. Ignoring that. Um, you'll notice a slight head bob as well when I'm moving. That's just a small thing, but I thought it looked kind of cool when I'm playing. It makes it feel like I'm, my character is actually moving. And am I even going the right way? Let's check the map. According to this, no, I'm going the wrong direction. 
I could get a Wazer Wifle from Billy, but I really don't do energy weapons that much, so I'm not going to bother with the Wazer Wifle. I've got plenty of weapons to go around. But I guess I need to go this way. But yeah, guys, I am sorry for being so lazy as of late. I've been putting up a couple here and there videos just kind of as filler, but nothing too serious. Ooh, I can open these ammunition boxes and take from them? I will certainly do that. Hopefully you'll forget you guys can find it in your humble, humble hearts to forgive me. But I've also expanded the radios. I believe, so here's another new radio existence. Let's see what's going on with Galaxy News. Because one dog ain't enough, and two is too low, it's me, three dog. How you kids handling post apocalyptia today? Ah, uh, yes, time for the news. All right. Three Dog has heard about some crazy things going on out there in the Capital Wasteland, but Watch this it. one just might beat them all. I've been getting some scattered reports that a couple of costume kooks have been battling for control of the settlement called Canterbury Commons. One of these wackos seems to be assisted by robots, and the other by mutated bugs. Every day it seems to be the same. Wow. I'm from Vault 101, and I rescued some of your friends from the slavers. Oh, that was you? Nice work. I hope one of you grabbed some of their gear before you left. Gotta make them pay for something like that. Speaking of which, I'm Nick Knack, and I take care of the general store around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stuff, and sometimes trade it for other stuff. That's pretty much a store, see? Hmm. Can you repair something for me? Oh boy. Uh, guess not. Um, I need, really need to get to Vault 87. Do you know the way? We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ah, oh, shit. I have to ask McCready. Ah! Backtracking. We gotta go back and talk to McCready and tell him I want to go to Vault 87. Oh, that's right, because that little shit-faced girl named... Is it... Oh, I don't remember her name. Some little shit-faced girl is like, Oh, well, I'm guarding the door. Oh, hey, here she is, that little shit-face of a girl. Gosh, you're big. Wait a minute, isn't this the entrance? Where the hell is McCready? Ah, oh, man. I gotta find McCready. Here we go. What's up? Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. Heh, <laughs> shit butts. I'm not planning on starting any trouble. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. I really need to get to Vault 87. Do you know the way? It's not safe, even for someone as brave as you. There's monsters back there. So you know the way to get there? Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. That's the only way? It's the only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted, and not even Joseph can make it work. Where can I find Joseph? I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. I want to use Murder Pass to reach Vault 87. You sure about that? It's scary in there. Even I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, if you say so. Come on, let's get the gate open for you, Mungo. Running, running, and more running, everybody. This is what Fallout is made of. The good news is we'll be getting back to the, uh... Okay, kicking cans. We'll get back to the shooting as soon as humanely possible. Oh, jeez, I have quite a few rads. I should probably pop a rad away. Let's see here. Items. Aid. 
Rat away, rat away, rat away. Um. Yeah, let's use the Noit. Let's use the 44 for now. That sounds like fun. Also, this is a dynamic crosshair. It's very tiny just because my uh, small guns is already at a very high level. But normally, if I was at a lower level for my small guns, the uh, that little circle in the very tiny center would move and adjust itself according to uh, the spread of my gun. But because I'm so good with uh, these guns, it's not really an issue. Anyway, save for safety, and let's go through Murder Pass. Probably going to want to turn off the uh, radio at this point. And turn off the light. Let's just be... Let's just take this slow. Do I need to go that way? Which way do I need to go? Because I already see some super mutants. Maybe I can ignore those guys entirely if I just go this way. But I'm going to be encountering some super mutants and it's not going to be much fun. Already low on health. Forgot how much I forgot how unforgiving this game is. Might want to use uh, a hunting rifle now. I've got your back. One, two, three. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Damn it, you're so useless. Okay, combat shotgun, let's try you out. Come on, buddy. Well, that wasn't too bad, I guess, aside from, you know, me missing most of my shots. Ooh, frag grenade. I'll take that. Do you have any ammo? I'll take that. I will take all of your ammo. Frag grenade. Not even gonna ask why you have ghoul flesh. Buff out. <clears throat> Ooh, I bet you have some good stuff, aside from horrible frame rate. 30 odd six rounds, shotgun shells. Do I have any guns in my inventory that's using 30 odd six? Nope. Well, guess what, M1 Garand? I'm gonna use you until you break. Shotgun shells. Some 5.56. Five, some grenades. What's in over here? Some 14 millimeters. Let's check out that M1 Garand. 